What happened to the Click Five? The band became popular in the early 2000s. They were the reincarnations of the Beatles with server-style swoop bangs instead of mop tops. They sold over 2 million albums worldwide and gained a massive fan following. So what happened to them and where are they now? Let's get to know more about them. We are speaking about the Click Five if you haven't guessed already. This American rock band was from Boston and all the band members were students at Berklee College of Music. The band started on January 1st, 2004 and started playing in some local events. The universe works in a mysterious way. They got attention of Wayne Sharp, who worked with the power pop group Candy. The Click Five made their first recording in 2004 after successful local touring. Their debut album was a commercial and critical success. It was called Greetings from Emory House in 2005. After the first album, Eric Dill, the vocalist, left the group. He was replaced by Kyle Patrick in the second album, Modern Minds and Pastimes, which was released in 2007. There were no new albums in the next few years. The band released its third album in 2011. Did you know that their third album was first released in Asia in 2010? The band was well known for their power pop songs and had a gentleman's public image with sharp suits and ties with mop top haircuts. Does it remind you of someone? Let us know in the comments. They called their music style pop punk or teen pop. The commercial success achieved by this band is beyond imagination. Ben Romans studied songwriting and Ethan Menser studied production and engineering. Joey Zier majored in both engineering and business at Berklee College of Music. The story of how they met is really interesting. Menser and Zier were roommates and they both called their house Imri House. They met Romans and Joe Gessi and formed a band. They started playing at local events and saw no luck in it. Romans got a job in Nashville in a recording studio. Jeff Dorenfeld was a former manager of the Boston band who saw Gessi and Menser performing. He referred them to Sharp was really impressed by the boys, but there was one problem. He liked them playing, but not their songs and appearance. Sharp told them, this isn't going to work unless you listen to me, when he first met them. Eric Drill joined the band, he was Sarah's high school friends. While speaking about the pressure to succeed, he once said, When we started the band our senior year, it was basically our last ditch effort because we all knew we were about to be done with school and have to enter the real world. Needless to say, the band was a commercial success. But all the glory started fading in 2006. Their songs didn't have the commercial success they once had. Their music was criticized by music critics. Ethan Menser said that there was a point where it felt like everyone was in an airplane and the engines just died. He said that it was a long and slow glide. You know the band has major problems when the lead singer leaves the band. That's what happened to the Click Five. Eric Dill left the band in 2007, soon after their first album. The remaining four members took a month to release official statements and later released their official statements on their MySpace page and said, we know he will be missed by many and we wish him the best success in his other endeavors. Kyle Patrick was their third year at Berklee College of Music. He left his studies in the middle to join the band. While singing the song originally sung by the former member, they lowered the keys to match Kyle's deep voice. 2007 was a tough year for Click 5. They rebooted their musical style and emphasized new wave and deliberately retro influences with more use of synthesizer. They also stopped wearing matching outfits. Instead, they changed and each member of the group adopted their own style. The band recorded Modern Minds and Pastimes with 12 songs. But it failed to meet high hopes and all the hype wasn't worth it. They sold only 50,000 copies in the US. Their best was 136 in the Billboard 200 chart. The fading glory became more evident. Some critics said that it's hard not to be disappointed and the entire album received mixed reviews. The band announced that they had parted ways on 14th January 2013. They announced via Facebook and said they would continue focusing on their careers. The band didn't forget to thank fans for their support. Now, all the former members have successful careers as individuals. Patrick went solo and has released a few EPs. He worked as an artist, writer and producer. Joey Zerer is now president and CEO of Mr. Kate, a lifestyle or DIY website and online shop. Menser is also in the music industry. Let us know in the comments what do you think of the band. Make sure to like and subscribe to never miss an update.